Uh, so when you say cartilage, is I see a lot of uh, knee cartilage injuries in my office. Yeah, another word for it is the meniscus. It's a uh, uh, cushion or shock absorber that's in the knee. And I brought a model here that I can show you. If you look right here, these are the little cushions uh, that go in between the thigh bone and the leg bone. And you can tear them with uh, something as simple as a twist or a turn. Here we are. Here's the, the cartilage here. The, and you can see on this model it's kind of cushiony, and that's exactly what it looks like. It's, uh, it's a very uh, spongy material. And, uh, and this is one of the most common things that I see. So what's a typical mechanism? How would somebody injure their meniscus or cartilage in the knee? Yeah, there are two, two different types of mechanisms. One is a younger person who has a real uh, uh, severe injury, a twist or a fall on a flex knee or um, uh, a, a turning injury. Uh, they'll get a sudden onset of pain, hurt their knee, the knee will swell up uh, and they will uh, come coming in com with complaining of pain. The other type is, a, we call it a, an older type or a degenerative type of tear, where you can get a, uh, somebody just gardening or squatting or kneeling, uh, an older person, and a couple days after that, they will, they'll complain of, of soreness in the knee. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of treatment would we uh, initially try if we were diagnosed with a cartilage or meniscus tear? Well, it depends. If it's, if it's an older uh, patient who uh, is not in severe pain, uh, you'd want to wait on that uh, condition, have them see if it gets better, try resting, uh, avoiding bad positions like twisting, squatting. If it's a uh, younger person and the, and the tear is unstable and it's moving, then you want to fix that. That's called a repair. You repair the cartilage. Mm -hmm. And do you sometimes remove a piece of cartilage also? Yeah, a, a lot of it has to do with the uh, blood supply to this area. Sometimes the blood supply is not good and you can't repair it. So then you have to uh, trim it or take out a piece of it. I see. So it sounds like um, if I'm diagnosed with a cartilage tear in my knee, I may be okay sort of doing some muscle strengthening or uh, giving it a rest for a period of time? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, it depends on the tear. It depends on the size of the tear. It depends on your symptoms. If, if you can't function, if you have trouble moving and uh, can't do your job, then you'll be more aggressive with that. But if you can get by and... and still walk and still climb stairs and, and some people can even exercise with this then I, I let them do that and have them come back if they're still having problems. Okay, interesting. What kind of um, recovery or rehabilitation should we expect if we do have to have surgery for a knee uh, yeah. meniscus tear? Yeah, what we do is arthroscopy and it's uh, basically an instrument the size of a pencil. The camera goes into the knee and uh, you look inside the knee and take care of the, the tear whether that's trimming it or repairing it. If you trim it, a lot of times it's people come back after being on crutches for a day or two and sometimes their swelling will be gone after a week. Sometimes it takes longer, depends on the knee, but uh, uh, for the most part people are able to get back into exercise after about, let's say, four to six weeks. Excellent. Yeah.